Hey, this is Lorena and I wanted to do for you a tutorial on how I cut fabric for a scrappy quilt top and also to how I put a scrappy quilt block together. So I appreciate you and come and just watch me make a beautiful beginner friendly scrappy quilt. If you want the pattern for this quilt, please join Lorena's Quilting Facebook group. I will have a PDF on there for you to print and follow along with me. All right, let's get started. In this footage, I'm sharing with you what the quilt block looks like. It has an eight and a half by eight and a half square and it has five four and a half by four and a half squares. What I ended up doing in this footage is I picked nine pieces of fabric that were fat quarters. I picked three print, three solids, and three backgrounds. Now, I did nine because I was only gonna do nine blocks. Now, I had enough fabric to do 12 blocks, but if you want it scrappier, I recommend that you get 12 fat quarters to make it scrappier and kind of change it up a little bit more. So here you see that I have all my fat quarters. I'm opening them up, and I'm gonna go ahead and starch and iron all of them. I'm sharing with you what all my fabrics look like so you can see the variations of colors that I picked. I did a video on how I picked my colors and I'll post it up here if you wanna see that video. I layered all my fabrics together and I made sure that they were nice and even on top of each other and I only had one area where I had a raw edge. After I did that, I went and got my ruler and my rotary cutter and I cut the raw edge and cut a nice straight line. And then I went over and counted eight and a half little squares that were on my mat and then I cut another line. After I did that, I had a big kind of strip of fabric. I got it and I turned it around and I cut the raw edge again. And then I counted eight and a half inches and I cut another cut which made my eight and a half squares. Now because I layered all, I think I layered seven pieces of fabric in one shot, here I have seven squares all cut up and ready to go. Then after I did that, I had a piece of fabric that was left over after that strip and I started cutting my pieces for the four and a half by four and a half squares. Now since I cut everything together, now I need to go ahead and separate every color and kind of section every color on its own. I also did this to make sure that I cut enough pieces to make the whole quilt top. Now on the quilt top process, you can make this as scrappy as you want. Just, you know, play around with the colors here. It's scrappy. It doesn't matter where the fabrics sit. So now we're gonna go ahead and put this quilt block together. What I'm sharing with you here is I'm going to sew these two pieces plus these two pieces together. And we're gonna go and bring those to the sewing machine and then you see me laying them out. Then I'm going to sew the bigger block, the eight and a half block with those two pieces together. Then I'm gonna sew the other four and a half to the two pieces that I've sewn. And this is what it looks like. Now I'm gonna go ahead and iron at this time. I recommend that you iron your longer strips of four and a half that you put together in one direction and your strip that you did with the eight and a half and your little four and a half. Iron it in the opposite direction and because you wanna be able to have like an X where you lock in those connecting seams that I'm gonna share with you now. Now when you're connecting the seams, you kinda of just rub those seams together and they flatten. Now if you don't know or you're new at this, go ahead and pull the fabric back and you can see if you have a straight line or not. If you don't, rub them in a little bit more. And on the seam line or on each side of the seam line, put a pin. This way it doesn't move on you and when you go on the sewing machine, you have a beautiful clean seam, connecting seam and it looks like a straight line. All right, after you've sewn that, this is what the block looks like. It's beautiful and what I do after that is I iron it. Now I'm going to share a couple clips of what the different blocks look like as we go along. And then on the next video, yes, I'm going to do another one. I'm going to share how I put the quilt top together and also to how I made the border. All right. So I'll see you in the next one and I appreciate you watching. Yeah, I think this is going to be a good one. All right. Talk to you later. Bye.